Hello, 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 everyone. I'm Round the Wheel, and you are watching, uh, I was gonna say Tile World. Man, I cannot get the names of games right lately. CCLP1 is what you're watching. Tile World is the program being used to run it. And looks like today we've got Tetragons. What's up with the Tetragons? What's up, where, where are the Tetras gone? Oh, hey, random force floor. Okay, let's explore all our options first. Uh, whoo, okay, so we can only go one way each time through these, through these little things, so we're going to have to go through every single area, where is it going to force me out? Okay, it's going to force me out through here, so I think I can probably do this without too much trouble, uh, oh hey, there was a chip underneath there even. And there was a chip underneath there as well. Okay, so I've got four segments of level to explore, it looks and sounds like. So, I just have to make sure I don't get pushed out the wrong way in any case. So, I don't think there really is a chance of that happening, but you never... Whoa. I was going to say, you never know. Uh, I think this is kind of set up for a complete lack of failure, though, the way it looks to me right now. Okay, yeah, because I can go through this way, and if I get forced out to the... Oh, yeah, if I get forced out upward, I can't get forced to the left, so I get forced into there. So, yeah, I can complete this uh, just fine. There, there shouldn't be any getting stuck whatsoever. That was kind of a bit of an initial fear, but... Wow, and I'm ultra safe on the inside here. That's... Wow, this is a very nice and pleasing and pleasant level. Now I just have to... Avoid the glider for one square. How hard is that, really? Whoa! Okay, but now avoiding the fireballs. That is a different matter. No, it's actually the exact same matter entirely. <laughs> Alright, well then, let's go around. All I have to do is be careful not to step on anything uh, too awful, I don't think. So, as long as I can avoid doing that, uh, this level is a piece of cake. Okay, yeah. You could have forced me through to the left, you know, you crazy... You crazy machine-based thing. Oh, hey, this is a, ooh, this is a much tougher-looking room, I think. Okay, stay on the insides. And, oh, yeah, wait to cross the street. Always look for fireballs before you cross the street. And you'll have a good breakfast every day that you can trust in. Uh, okay, okay, yes, I still have one out. Very good. Okay, I was a little bit worried there for a second, but we were in good hands, to be sure. Okay, so not so bad, not so bad, level 16. Now we're on, oh, <laughs> tiny, oh, localized to one, okay, yeah, okay, so if I go through here, there is... Okay, I cannot touch that fireball because he's caught in a bear trap. So, I think what I want to do here... Uh, I want to be sure everything is able to be taken before I... Oh, uh... I think what I want to do then is get this chip... Let the fireball die because he would be crammed into the exit if... No, I can't do that, because... Okay, yeah, maybe... Okay. Hmm. Okay, I think I see. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. I have the fire boots. And what I want to do is take the... Take it to about right here, I think. Uh... Yeah, I want to take the thing to right here before... And I need to get this first, so that my boots... I can still use them. Need to get that while I can still use the boots. Oh, yes, and then make my escape. Okay, yes, a tiny level, localized to one screen. <laughs> That's very clever. I wish there were more levels like that, actually. That was pretty uh, pretty incredible. Square dancing. Now we have the blobs who use pseudopod penises to move and stuff. Okay, so as long as I stay on the outer... if as, as long as I stay on the gravel, I ought to be fine. I know their movement is randomized, but they don't seem to be anywhere near my chips, so I'm not really all that worried for now. Okay, yeah, I blobs move randomly at half of chip speed, so that probably is helpful uh, in terms of if I see a blob coming onto my square, I can move away from it if I react quickly enough. But I don't think I'll even really need to have good reaction time, because 
they're not coming anywhere near the little passageways that they would have to get into in order to decimate me. And I don't think they can walk on top of the chips either. So, yeah, even going like this, I can probably just cruise along right on through. Oh, yeah, this is super, super simple so far. Although it's when I get to the middle part that we may start having the troubles. Okay, but no, no the troubles yet. All right. Just keep on moving in. Spiral in towards victory. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get consumed by anything. I don't... I don't feel... I still don't feel all that afraid, quite honestly. Uh, yeah, as long as I... I and they're moving at, like, half speed. So as long as I am smart about it... Yes, very easy. I wonder how the blobs are going to be used as a threat later on. If they only move at half of my speed then, theoretically, they should be outrunnable in most emergencies, given that I have enough space to get away from them. Okay, feel the static. Feel the static. Which way do I need to go to feel the static? I'm going to go to the... Yeah, I'm going to go over here first. What's what's our hint for the day? Okay, finally, red, cre red key, green key... Red key, green button, yellow key, fire boots, blue key, and exit. Okay, so I feel like that may be a hint of some sort as to uh, the order in which I need to do things. Okay, I didn't. I don't think I picked up anything that could be considered useful there. Um, let's go ahead and move up the dirt. Let's up the punks. Why don't we? That's yeah. I figured there was no way that was that I was getting away with that. Okay, let's go through the teleporter then. Okay, so the red key. All right, let's go back through. Let's go back through because it told us red key, green button. Okay, yeah, it is so far. That's the order that we're going to be doing things. So where's that? Where was that green button? I think it was down in here, was it not? Okay, yeah, let's cut through there. Red key, green button, and I can. It's nice to be able to refer back to the hint at any time as well. Uh, yellow key, fire boots, blue key, and exit. Yellow key. Okay, uh, I don't want to push that block upward. Uh, that just equals disaster, because I can't actually push it in the chips. Yellow key, uh, they said yellow key, fire boots, blue key, exit. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, well, I can certainly get some things. Aha! Okay, but I need to find those fire boots first. Where is the yellow key? Okay, Ooh, oh, well, hold on now. Uh... Okay, yeah, I can't go through there just yet. What if I... I need to find a blue button, actually, is what I need to find. He won't take my key, will he? No, he doesn't. He does not take my key. Okay, there's the fire boots. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to avoid... First of all, we want to avoid pressing that green button. But second of all, we want to... Let's see. I think there are, I think there are plenty of ways, actually. Yeah, I can actually totally go around that in any way that I see fit. I can go around that thief panel any way that I want to. So, how, let's, let's go around it. Let's avoid it as best as we can, and still we're up here. Okay, so now we can go through the fire and the flames. There we go. So we got the fire boots. We've got the blue key. What's that ball doing stuck there? I assume it's going horizontally. That it's somehow or orient that it's somehow oriented horizontally so that it's not bouncing up and down, which is an interesting way to program that. Uh, but I have the blue key now, so I can go back this way and I can come down around here. Actually, I don't shouldn't need the fire boots anymore. I don't think if since I was using them what to walk through here. I think. Yeah, the whole point was walking through there to get those. So I think actually, okay, I think actually I can get away with doing that. So, all right, let's skate up through here and get those chips. Only one chip left. Okay, that makes me feel, that makes me feel good. Oh, we have more than enough chips to get to the exit, and it's just right through here. Ta-da! Why am I collecting extra chips? There is absolutely no need to be doing that. That was totally... Totally not a thing that had to be done. Chip suey. I like the pun there. Chip suey. That seems like it's going to be one of those uh, potpourri levels by the sound of it, actually. So I always, I love me a good potpourri level. Using all the knowledge that you've acquired to, okay, yeah. 
to get in. Yeah, I kind of figured we'd be going along the wall there, uh, and probably down this way as well. Oh, no! Oh, hey, hey! Oh, hey! Okay, all right, so now we can, uh, now we want to get them water boots. I refuse to call them the flippers. They don't seem very flippery in my estimation. Uh... <laughs> And you, you still have walking animation. There's no there's no hint of your body entering the water. So I don't know. I, I feel like the game referred to them as flippers though. Uh okay, so let's let's kick this. Uh, okay, where did that Okay, that just took us out either way. Okay, the randomized tile was gonna either take us out to the bottom or the top, and now we just have to outrun outrun the teeth, which doesn't seem that difficult. Actually, it is kind of. Okay, but no. Okay, we've got the force boots now. Alright, we're making that comforting click. There we go. Okay, so let's... Oh my. Uh... Okay, let's make a guy. Whoa! Okay. Oh, it sends him right into the bombs. Okay, so... So either way, he'll make a bomb and he'll go... Okay, so he cleared a way up. So... Alright, fire boots are for us. Fire boots are for kids. You know, if I had a pair of fire boots, I would have definitely been a happy camper as a kid. Uh, but no keys yet, so... Okay, there are our ice skates. Uh, what have I... What have I done that I need to do? Okay, so there's that. Okay, if I enter it through... Okay, if I go left and right and left and right... Okay, that's all I can do in there. So where do I need to come from? I have fire boots. There's a yellow key. So now I can probably I can probably just avoid that clone machine altogether. That's probably the best of ideas. All right. So now All right. Yeah. Now it's just a little game of toggle the tanks. And then that gets us the ice skates. There we go. We are all shoot up. That clears us to go down through here. Okay. Oh my. Let's be very careful with our recessed walls, doggone it. <laughs> I was not careful. Well, shucks. Okay, that's much better. Okay, so now, yes, now I'm safe. But now I get all my boots taken away. Oh no! I hope I have, I hope I can rely on my skills in this case to help me out. And it looks like I can, sort of, maybe, I don't know. Okay, so I gotta get on the other side of that. So, okay, there's that, and pop that down, and yeah, you just gotta do some kind of walking, it is weird how much walking back and forth over buttons you gotta do to make them do what you want in this game, that is a little bit strange and odd, but, <laughs> okay, so, uh, okay, hopefully there's nothing bad hidden underneath here, okay, ooh, I gotta be, ooh, okay, one second actually, okay, so, this isn't as easy as it seems at first, so we want to go ahead and put this underneath there so that that one is open. Yeah! All right! Wow! Yay! For <laughs> I like the password for this level. I just now got to look at it. Ow! <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good one indeed. Good one, game good one. All right, so now I think we might be <laughs> generic ice level, you say. Well, at least I have skates to help me out. Uh, hmm. I think I'll want to go about the business of collecting, uh, okay, may the force be with you. Oh, indeed. Yes, indeed, quite. Okay, so I think I'm going to want to collect any chip that I can without, without using bombs first. I think I'll try to do that. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna get what I can. I'm gonna get what looks obvious for now. <clears throat> huh? This is. This is rather interesting. So. Okay. I don't know what. 
I like the combination of elements being used here, actually. So, oh, oh, I see. You just take it across to. I heard that. I heard that go big, loud boom. So, okay, there's two. Okay, where am I gonna? Where am I gonna come from here? Uh, I can go that one up there and get that one. Okay, only one more left. Hopefully, I haven't wasted all my blocks in too terrible a fashion. Nope, doesn't look like I have. That's, okay, yes. Generic ice level, you just got generic prescription. There you go. You're listening to KNAG for all your greatest tile world hits. TCBB gives us repair the maze. Okay, so we gotta fix the maze somehow with five keys. Use these five keys to remove the three walls that make this maze impossible. Oh... Oh my, this is very intriguing. Well, first of all, let's get what we can without setting anything off. Okay, that looks like one that I'm going to need to use right. Well, maybe not. Okay, so let's go around. Does it matter which one I do here? It, um, let's go ahead and do this like cornery one just to make a full corridor there. Uh, okay, so that's one key used. So basically, I think we're just going to get what we can, and get what you can without using the keys, and, oh yeah, it looks like it's pretty well highlighted what you're supposed to use there. Okay, so that's the, okay, so that's another combined one. So that was, it said the five keys to remove the three walls that make this maze impossible. Uh, so it seems like... Seems like I'm doing a pretty good job of that so far. I've got... Okay, I'm down to 11 chips. As long as I don't accidentally waste any keys here... Yeah, you just have to find the ones that are basically impossible to get without some kind of key-based intervention. I think that might be the third one right there. Uh, hopefully, hopefully not too much of a waste there. I only have four chips left, and I still have two keys to go by my count. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, just beautiful. I think we're going to be nailing this. So, why'd they give us five keys in case we met... Oh, I thought that was... Is that not the last chip? Where's the last chip at? Uh, oh, there it is, down there, in another similarly accessible part of the maze. Very good, very good for us. So, that's it, right? That's it. So, I guess they gave you five keys in case you mess up. So, we're still, like, in the early part of the game where they're willing to give you margin for error so why don't we just yeah why don't we just use those last few and yeah we'll use those as like a victory lap and just make sure we're all done there that was a good run i am very much in approval of it well next time we'll get on to level 23 then and i will see you guys next time for more cclp1 it's moving along quite well i really like i really like how how much it's easing us in i mean we're still on level 22 and there are 149 levels, just like in Chip's Challenge. So I'm sure it's going to ramp up. And even Chip's Challenge wasn't really hard at this point. So I'm not sure what I'm so happy about. Ah, well, whatever.